Thanks for joining us online. I'm Kevin Hurd from KevinTalksTech.com. Back again to give you another tech tip today, one that we get a lot of questions about, which is how to connect your laptop computer to your television set. This has been around for a very long time. It has now gotten a lot easier since most television sets now include something called a VGA port. It's that connection you see on the side of the laptop that connects to your monitor. We now have that same type of connection on televisions that you usually have on your monitors. And so that's how you connect the laptop to the TV. Let's break it all down for you here right now. First thing you're going to do is connect your uh, VGA cable, again, this is a blue cable. It has a blue end on it. You're gonna connect that to the VGA port on your monitor. This is what takes the video signal out of your monitor and brings it over to another device. Next, you're going to connect the other end of the VGA cable to your television set, just like you'd connect to your monitor. Your TV, however, will need to have this VGA connection on it. If it doesn't, I'll talk more about some other alternatives for you here in a second. At this point now, both devices should be connected. This is only going to do the video portion, however, so what you're also going to do is need to add an audio cable to this as well. This is a three and a half millimeter audio cable, very similar to what you'd see when you plug in a headphone size item into your iPod, your tablet, that type of thing. You're gonna plug one end of the headphone size cord into the laptop where you see the headphone connection. The other end is gonna go into the back of the TV as well, and typically this headphone size port is going to be right next to that VGA connection. And again, this is what's going to be taking the sound from your computer over to your television set. Now you've got all of these devices connected to each other, the computer and the television set. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna turn on your television. And now depending upon what type of remote you have or what type of TV you have, you're gonna to wanna to look for a button that says input or source on it, something very similar. And you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the option that says VGA on it. This is again the type of connection that you're getting from your computer. So click OK on your remote. And at this point, you're going to see your computer screen boot up onto your television set. You can see this is the laptop screen that I have here right now. There are several different options too, depending upon your computer. Typically, your computer should have a hot key on it. It's one of the F keys on top of the laptop that says LCD. You can push this to toggle between a few different options. In this way, which you see right now, the computer screen is being shared with the television set, so you have both of these on here. If I go ahead and toggle between these, you can see now that the computer screen is just on the TV up here, and on top of that, it's taking up the whole screen, the whole wide screen. We call that a 1920 by 1080 resolution. This is typically your best option right here because then you get the best picture on the TV. You can see that it is taking up the full screen. One other option you can do though, if you do want to go back to that computer screen is use your hotkey up here that says LCD. Click on that FN key and now you'll also be able to go back and you can see that now our image is just here on the computer screen. A lot of different experimenting, of course, and it is ultimately going to depend upon the type of laptop that you have, the type of television set that you have, but those are some of the basic instructions about how to connect your television set and your computer together. Now, if you don't have those VGA cables, uh, don't have that VGA connection, I could say, on your TV, there are some other options for you as well. You're going to need to use a converter that can convert that VGA connection to an RCA connection. Likely your TV has an RCA connection. That's that red, yellow, and white cables, uh, white cable set that you often see on some of these older television sets. More of that anyway up on our website. And by the way, if you want complete instructions on how to do this, we've put those instructions up online on our website. Just go to kevintoxtech.com and you'll find all those right there. And I will ask you as well, if you haven't already, I'd uh, love it if you'd be able to subscribe to our YouTube page. That way we can keep in touch. If you have any comments, then I can read your stuff a little bit easier. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our Facebook page as well. Click the like button. It'd be really nice to be able to stay in touch with you a lot easier. Again, thanks for stopping by kevintoxtech.com. We'll see you again next time.